In this video, they say use the graph of a one-to-one -one function to graph its inverse function on the same axis. It says given the plot of y equals f of x below, find the plot of y equals f inverse of x. So if you remember what happens when you have inverses, the domain and range switch for the inverse function. So whatever your outputs are for this f of x function, those are going to be the inputs for the inverse function. And vice versa for the outputs of this function will be the um, inputs for the inverse function. So we're going to write down some coordinates from this function. So that's 1, 4. This is 2, 7. This is 0, 1. So I'm going to write 0, 1, 1, 4, and 2, 7 for my original function. This is the f of x coordinates. So my f inverse coordinates are going to be the exact opposite of that, okay? because the domain and range switch for the inverse function. So we're going to say that this is 1, 0, 4, 1, and 7, 2. So I can graph these now. 1, 0 would be here. 4, 1 would be here. And 7, 2 would be right there. So I can draw this now inverse graph right there. Now one thing I want you to notice about every single problem you do. Every single inverse is going to be reflected across y equals x. So you're going to see this over and over and over again in each video. If I draw this function, or this y equals x function, it's going to split the two inverse functions every single time, no matter what graph we have. So that's one way to check to see if you've done it right, is just draw y equals x and see, am I, am I the same on each side? Right? And you can tell that they are definitely reflected across that. 